Hi, it's Kristen with Women's Care Center. We've been getting some phone calls from parents asking what they need to be doing during this time to keep their families safe. The good news is that there are very specific things that we can be doing to help slow the spread of the coronavirus in our communities. Today, let's talk about three things that we can do to help keep our families healthy. But before we get into that, let's do our breathing exercise. With both feet flat on the ground, I want you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. As you exhale, let's imagine all the extra pressure that we've been feeling leave our bodies. Once you feel relaxed, I want you to think about something that you're grateful for right now. Even in the most troubled times, there can be silver linings. By thinking and focusing on what we're grateful for, it can give us the strength that we need for days ahead. Are you ready? Three things that we can do to help keep our families healthy. The first thing to remember is that frequent hand washing and disinfecting of common household surfaces can be our first line of defense against the spread of germs. When you wash your hands, be sure that you're using soap and warm water and that you're washing them for a full 20 seconds. 20 seconds is longer than you think it is, so feel free to count it down in the bathroom or to sing a song. That can be especially helpful when we're reminding our little ones how to properly wash their hands. Some common household surfaces to disinfect may include your doorknobs, your light switches, the TV remote control, phones, kitchen counters, kitchen sinks. Those things are the things that we need to be regularly cleaning. If you have older kids, give them the responsibility of cleaning at least one of these surfaces at least once a day. Be sure in the hand washing that you're including the littlest hands in the family. We all know those chubby little fingers love to make it inside their mouth. The coronavirus is mainly spread when the germs enter our eyes, our nose, or our mouth. So by hand washing, we're helping to kill the germs before the virus even has a chance to enter into our system. The second thing to remember is that social distancing is necessary in keeping our families and communities healthy. The coronavirus is mainly spread from person to person. Anytime someone coughs or sneezes, respiratory droplets are released and then those droplets can then land on someone else or be inhaled into the lungs. This is why you often hear people saying to stay at least six feet away from other people. Many of our communities have been given a shelter in place mandate. What that means is that people should not be leaving their homes unless it's on essential business. Essential business may include things like grocery shopping, going to work, going to the doctor, going to school if the kids are still meeting there. I know it's difficult to stay home, but we need to remember every time we're able to minimize the contact between people, we're helping to protect our communities. We're helping to avoid contracting the coronavirus, and most importantly, we're helping to avoid spreading it to our loved ones. This isn't going to last forever, but we all need to do our part. And when it's possible, please remember to stay home. The third thing to know are the symptoms that we need to be looking for. Specifically with the coronavirus, the health department is requesting that people look for shortness of breath, cough, and a fever. If you notice someone in your family displaying any of these symptoms, many communities have a coronavirus hotline that is staffed by medical professionals. A simple Google search will show you your local number. If you're unsure, you are always welcome to call Women's Care Center and we will get that information to you. You may also call your local hospital or clinic and they can give you advice on your next steps. Let's recap. Number one, be sure that you're washing your hands. It's our first line of defense. Number two, staying home is an essential piece to keeping your family safe. If you do need to leave, be sure when you get back, the first thing you do is wash your hands. If you notice any symptoms, please contact a medical professional 
to get advice on what your next steps should be. I know this is a difficult time. Many of us have been through tough times before, but nothing quite like this. So let me remind you today that you are stronger than you think. You may not feel like it right now, so let me remind you. You are resourceful, you are resilient, and you will make it through the other side. Be sure that you're checking in with your little ones with our highs and our hurts. At bedtime, when you're tucking them in, ask them what the best part of their day was. Ask the follow-up question, what was the most difficult or the saddest part of their day? It opens up your little kids to great conversations and gives you an assurance that you're doing your part to be sure that they're taken care of. We're here every day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.